So, welcome to the set of The Heart of Time. So, this is quite a big announcement video, actually. It's one that I've been putting off doing for a while, mainly because it's like, you know, it doesn't quite feel like we're at that point yet, but um, it's an important announcement that I have to do. Um, so, next year, 2023, okay, is the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. In that year, we are going to be releasing our feature length film, Doctor Who The Heart of Time. When we return to Doctor Who in 2024 um, for the new series, it won't be with me as the Doctor. Bit of a big question. Why have you decided to step down as a doctor at this point? It's a big question. Um, so, I thought about stepping down from playing the role uh, a few times over the years. So, it was always, I'd always actually intended, um, this is going all the way back to Series 3, so that was 2015. Um, I'd always intended for it to be, Series 15 would come out. And then there'd be a bunch of specials, and the specials would lead up to what would be my final story. For a long time, it was going to be, we were going to kill the Doctor. That's it. Dead. Done. And we were just going to totally end the show. Um, that was an idea I had in, in the early days. Um, but the more I thought about that, I was like, that's actually quite dark, isn't it? It's just absolutely 100% definitively kill the character. Um, and I thought... You know, something that I really enjoy about doing the series and something I really enjoy about sort of filmmaking in general is writing and directing. Um, and obviously when you're playing the title character, you spend a lot of it, um, you know, in front of the camera. And I really wanted to go behind the camera and I thought, well, we might as well carry on the fan series and, uh, you know, recast the Doctor, get new characters, and it allows me then to be behind the camera and do the thing that I enjoy doing the most. Um, not that I enjoy playing the Doctor, obviously when you play the Doctor you're going to enjoy doing it. Um, but I've been doing it for so long now that my love of playing the character has started to sort of dwindle. So rather than me getting to a point where I'm absolutely sick of doing it, I thought I'll move on, uh, go behind the camera and reinvigorates my love of making the show. So that's probably a longer answer than I think anyone was expecting, um, but that was quite a, quite a big question, so yeah. From the moment Chris pitched this whole project to me, no matter what stage it was, the heart of time as a story was going to be Chris's swan song. His regeneration story, the story that closed off his era, no matter what the plan was, whether it was going to be getting someone to replace him, or even handing off the series to someone else at one point, that was something that we considered. Have Chris's Doctor face off against Omega in one big last final battle, and have Chris regenerate at the end of the story. This is actually the second, oh, 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 he's gone. no, second to last reshoot. Um, we got one more reshoot day plan off this, so this is one of the last times I'll be wearing this specific, my, specific occasion. Yeah, that's weird. It's weird, weird, weird. Um, obviously, you know, it's Doctor Who, multi Doctor things happen, you never know. But at least for the you know foreseeable future, um, this is one of the last times. Everything that I will be in um, will probably likely be filmed. Uh, before the end of the year, um, even anything potentially B 
beyond not giving away anything but um yeah uh so doing some blue screen stuff today just doing some pickups um doing some pickup shots some uh replacement shots i'm covering the camera like an absolute rookie um uh, doing some uh replacement shots some pickup shots and also some additional stuff because this is what happens when you film something and have it way 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 in advance you uh, start to write extra stuff for it that you think would work really well um, and that's what i've done i've written some new bits that actually work really well and replace some things that we thought didn't work so well so that is what we're doing today on doctor who okay so and we did the majority scene ages ago but we had to redo it and why was that chris it's the silliest thing and do you know what if i don't think this footage is as good as the original version i'm just going to use the original version but basically i only have one shirt of a of the particular style the one that i've worn in like the entire film it's a white shirt it's got little bits of like black patterns on it right um so because i only have that one shirt and because i knew that uh, you know, in episode one of series six, there was going to be uh, like the show was going to be all torn up a bit like Raggedy Doctor 11th Doctor style, right? I was like, well, we can't ruin the one shirt because if we ever do multi Doctor stuff, we're going to need that shirt, and if we do any other reshoots of the Heart Time, we need that shirt. So I thought it wasn't very noticeable that the shirt changed to a plain white shirt when Charlie is in the shop. However, the one friend I have, who I showed it to, um, I said, I wanna see if you notice something. I'm not gonna tell you what specifically to look at, I'm just gonna see if you notice something. And then didn't bring it up. Didn't bring it up, I then had to kind of bring it up. And his response was, it'd be nice if he, if he was wearing your clothes. To which I said, but he is wearing my clothes. The only thing he's not wearing is the shirt. He's wearing the same tie, he's wearing the same waistcoat, he's wearing the coat. I thought it was very subtle and not very noticeable, but apparently it is super noticeable. Um, and it's, it's been interesting as well because obviously it's a film and we are used to doing episodes. Um, episodes, I think, actually take a lot less time to shoot everything before. Um, whereas because this was a big kind of film with a lot of action set pieces going on a lot of green screen work a lot of TARDIS stuff location stuff um it was big undertaking and it just took a lot of time to kind of plan everything even though the, the actual core cast is quite small um it just did take quite a long time to get everything in motion because is it because this is a regeneration story that just so ha just so happened to fall in line with our anniversary year, our anniversary year even. Chris wanted to do his version of the Temp Doctor's companion farewell tour from the end of time, in which he visits all the past companions and characters throughout the series. So not only do I appear as Simon, but I also appear as the Mystery Doctor as well, and I also appear as John, Daisy's boyfriend, with Marina return to play the role. That said, the other characters that we couldn't get involved, so so Daisy played by Phoebe, Lainey who was in our, one of our Christmas specials and the character Alice, Lauren who ended up being Romana, we weren't able to get them to film so we use previous footage from the episodes with Chris spliced in via green screen because that's really all we had so we weren't able to get them so we just thought have Chris see them from a distance without ever saying goodbye to them. Sort of similar with the Mickey and Martha as well as the Jack bit from the end of time in part two. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it's to totally my fault. These things happen. Wait a minute. Doctor. One last minute addition we had, I don't know how far we went to filming when we did this. 
But before we lock down the final edit, Power of the Doctor came out. And upon seeing the Edge scene with the various classic Doctor actors reprising their roles, Chris decided to add his own version of the Edge scene involving me as the Mystery Doctor. Isn't that the question of the day? What are you doing here? Your mind, rather our mind, it, it gets hazy in these moments. He liked this idea of a time on subconsciousness before regeneration, and since I played the version of the Doctor that comes before him, this made sense, especially as is we announced that this Mystery Doctor played by me is getting his own audio series in which I'll be playing the Mystery Doctor on audio. We've already announced this, but since it's been so long since my version of the Doctor was seen on screen, Chris will be a good way to re-establish the character, and that way, whatever new audience we get from the Heart of Time, will clock on that I am the Doctor before him, and as such, when they see news that we're making a new series with this new Doctor, rather old Doctor, they'll connect the dots. So not only does this refresh the, the minds of the audience we already had and establish them for the new audience, this is just a good setup for that spin-off series. You're dying. This, this is where we all go when we regenerate. So that's why I'm seeing you. Me? I'm your subconscious and guardian of the edge. I'm here to make sure you don't give up. It's no secret that Chris has been passionate about this for ages. And not just because it's his first feature length project. But also because it's his one song, his exit story. And it just so happened to be the 10th anniversary of our fan series that just so happened to fall on the 60th anniversary of the main show. And for these reasons, Chris wanted to make a big special occasion about it, not just with all the promotion on social media, but he also wanted to do a premiere of it. And he told me about this a few times, so I thought he was just going to fight people over to his house or my house and we just watch it on the TV or something. No! Turns out, the man contacted Trinity Church in Sutton and was actually able to book out one of their rooms for the night so that we could premiere the Heart of Time to not only the cast and crew but also to our friends as well. He spent over £100 for this room and we were able to show it for one night only for a premiere of that film. Someone we've not seen confidential for a while. Rain is back. Mm. Now they feel to see the film finally. Yes, back here for the great premiere of the film. What's going to happen? Who knows? In time and space. I'm just pinning out the red carpet. Yeah, because we got esteemed guests. Yeah, because this is how serious Chris is. He what he got a red carpet, at least you got the red carpet. We, yeah, we have a dress code. Kenny's wearing a hat. I've never seen him wear a hat, but mm -hmm. he's wearing a hat. Mm -hmm. Like, yep. this is happening. No, sir, he is very much alive and he's coming right here. Why would I listen to you? So not only do we have sound, but we have light as well. So today's the premiere. How are you feeling about this, Chris? I mean, I'll give you that. I felt the same thing that we've been at this for what, how many, two years now? And it's not only done, we're showing it to people. Hello, Chris here. I'm just uh, adding a little bit to this um, part of the confidential um, as I'm just doing some final touches to the edits that um, Kenny has sent through. And um, this really is just 
I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has followed this series for so long. Um, part five is the like saying goodbye part. So it's the me kind of reflecting on the journey. Kenny also reflecting on the journey and where it's taken us. Um, and at the time of editing, um, we actually updated the, the, the title card that comes at the end, which you'll see. Um, and since then, uh, the view count has broken that title card. Um, so we just want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's watched it and everyone that is continuing to watch it, whether you've watched it once or more than once or if you're showing your friends. We just did not expect this film to to blow up the kind of way that it has. Um, and that's why we thought it was really important to do this six-part um, documentary miniseries. I mean, I'm even wearing my Omega t-shirts um, for whilst editing. So, yeah, this is just me from the bottom of my heart, just want to say thank you and I hope you enjoy this little montage of the past 10 years of the DC 63 Productions Doctor Who series. Thank you, I hope you enjoyed this confidential um, and don't forget part 6 airs next week. <laughs>